Hey everyone, we've got more Jurassic World Evolution action and this time it's science mission number four, needs management and I need to incubate and release with 85% genome, a Metriacanthosaurus, a Deinonychus, Chasmosaurus and four Gallimimus. So this is going to be a lot of releasing. Uh, so we're going to need to make sure we've got pens all set up. But let's, uh, let's, let's take a listen to uh, the lovely Dr. Kajal. Great. As you know, some of our specimens break down into herbivores and carnivores. The herbivores tend to be more docile and passive. The carnivores, not so much. Our goal is to get them isolated and into their own enclosures. First step, we need to hatch our new dinosaurs and separate them. Of course, it should be easy enough to tell them apart. Here's a helpful tip. The ones trying to bite off your hand, not vegan. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> so I've got to incubate and release all of these. So I've got a fight going on here. I don't know if I've got 85% genome for all of them. So let's have a look at this place to, uh, to see whether or not I've got the Metricanthiosaurus. Where is the dude? Here he is. And he is at 76%. So clearly I need more of that. And Deinonychus, Chasmosaurus and Gallimimus. Have a little look. So again, Gallimimus, I need to get more of. Chasmosaurus, I'm at 96%, and Deinonychus, 95%. So it looks like it's just Gallimimus and Metriacanthosaurus that I need to increase my uh, my genome for. So I've got to send out some expeditions quickly. Okay, so the Metriacanthosaurus is in the Oxford clay. So I'll send a mission for that. And I think Gallimimus is like over here somewhere. Okay, there it is. So we're going to send out expeditions of both of those and build up enough uh, <laughs> enough genome for them. And I've got a fence down, so they're going to sort that out. Not sure which one's down. What's going on? That seems fine. All oh, that seems fine. Oh, it's this guy over here. Who is it? Oh, it's my Chasmosaurus. I need to get rid of him anyway. Okay, so I'll deal with that, and then uh, and then I'll get everything on the go. Okay, so while that escaping Chasmosaurus is uh, is kind of on its way, I'm going to start by releasing my two Chasmosaurus here. Okay, so I need, I've just got one Chasmosaurus just going in, so I need a second Chasmosaurus. Just waiting for my Camarasaurus to go in. These names are very similar. Camarasaurus, Chasmosaurus. Man. So, need to get another Chasmosaurus on the go. So just going to send that in now and get my escaped Chasmosaurus back in to this facility. Because essentially Chasmosaurus needs uh, need a good amount of uh, social interaction. So you need three or four in there. And I only had two, which is why, why they got out. So we got one here, one over here, this guy over here. And this guy here, which will make four, and then when I throw in one more, that'll give me the five and tick off the Chasmosaurus from the list. So I need to clear this enclosure Asset for my transport. Metriacanthosaurus. So I'm just going to trank up my old uh, T Rex and sell him, and then I should be able to get a Metriacanthosaurus in here once my genome gets high enough. But what I can do in the meantime is get my Deinonychus developed and I'm just going to increase my hatchery because I want four at the same time. I want to trank them all up and then move them into the other facility. I know you only need one Deinonychus for this mission but Deinonychus need their buddies around so you need a good four of them to keep them all happy. And now I can go and check on my genome. How are we doing at the fossil center? What did we get? T-Rex, no. No. Chasmosaurus, I didn't need that. No. Okay, needed the Metricanthiosaurus up. So those are good. And clearly gonna need to send out some more expeditions. Okay, got some more in. What's this one? <laughs> no. 
Okay. Gallimimus, sweet. Okay, so those are the two that I need. Gallimimus and Metriacanthosaurus. Just clear the decks a little bit and send out some more expeditions. Okay, so my four Deinonychus are all ready for release. And then I'm going to move them into their facility. And I've essentially set up my ACU helicopter to be able to add lots of tasks so that I can get them all trained up at the same time. Request acknowledged. So just waiting for them all to come in and then I'll get them tranked up and moved into their own pen. And I'm also going to release the second of the Chasmosaurus. Should put me in a good place. That gives me two ticks in the box. I just need to get the fossils going again. Okay, so all of my Deinonychus are asleep now, so I can move them into their new pen. Hopefully they'll be fine there. Acknowledging asset collection request. Okay, so my Metriacanthosaurus is now up to 90%, so that should hit that. And then I'm just waiting for my Gallimimus to get up there. They're getting close, I think they're up to 72%. Have a little check. I think we've got some fossils on the go. No, I think I've, maybe they've gone through already. Gallimimus, where are you dudes? 78%, so getting close. Okay, so the Metriacanthosaurus is ready for release. So that'll be the third of the ticks. Okay, so Gallimimus suddenly got him in the mix. So this will be the fourth one. But I need to get four of them. Just waiting for this uh, Taurosaurus to get out of the way. Okay, hopefully they all hatch relatively quickly. I'm also going to trank up one of my dinosaurs in here, my Ankylosaurus. Because he's a bit sensitive to population size, but so if I threw in four Gallimimus and left him in there, it would essentially mean he'd go nuts, break through the fences. But this way, I think, I think I might be able to keep him. Just leave him tranked up, sort out the Gallimimus, get past this mission, sell the Gallimimus, get the Ankylosaurus back, and then we'll be back in business. Okay, so luckily the Gallimimus incubate really quickly, so should be able to uh, smash them out now. That's two, three, just waiting for this last one to finish off incubating. Numero four. Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be some second part to this, but I think she said something about housing them in their own kind of pens which I've sort of done. I think I've got everybody in different pens, so I might get an instant tick for this. Just waiting for the four Gallimimus to go in. Okay, here's the fourth Gallimimus, just waiting for it to get registered in the bottom right-hand corner. Each of the species of dinosaurs we nurture has their own requirements. Make sure their welfare is up to our standards. This is one of our biggest challenges. These animals, even when we keep them separated, they know. They each know that the other is there. Predator and prey. One lives in frustration, the other in fear. It's a powder keg just waiting for a spark. Okay. Random words there, George. A random collection of words. So essentially, I need to move the Deinonychus all back into here. And I'm also going to move the Gallimimus into here which should give me ticks on everything. So essentially I've got to do a lot, a lot of tranking. But because I've got the extra tasks, I can do them all at once. Okay, and so now the Deinonychus are starting to get tranked up so I can start to move them into the, uh, the same pen as the Metriacanthosaurus. 
Here we go, that's the first one going in. It's just got to go through all of them. Okay, so that's the last one commanded over. So now I can trank up all the Gallimimus. Okay, so the last of my Gallimimus are moving into the herbivore area here. You can see it's looking pretty packed. So that should give me all of them. So just waiting for these last two to touch down. Everything seems okay. Got a dead dinosaur somewhere. There's a Triceratops. Need to get a new one of those on the go. Don't want any other issues. Got a disease outbreak. The worst case, it's damn close. We have a disease spreading through the dinosaur's community, and we need to get a handle on it immediately. Need I remind you of the investment you're putting at risk by letting this disease spread? All right then, Wu. Calm down. Dude, we're on it. Okay, one, task. No two. Problem. Need to increase the tasks. In fact, I'm just going to send in another car. I think it'll be just as quick. Maybe even quicker. For the last one. Being transported. And Task then, received. Hopefully, Commencing finally, we'll complete this mission. Okay, my Ranger team are going in. Come on, guys. They've got guns that are ready. Let's get everybody fixed. Out the way, Gyrosphere. Move it, Gallimimus. <laughs> I love how dramatic things look when you look at it from this angle. Where's he even going? There's no stopping it through the water. Okay, it's found target number one. Where are you going? Are you going to help anybody? Cure them. Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. Come on, we need some speed. Come on, Ranger team. Okay, so hopefully they're going to sort that out relatively quickly. It looks like I've already got one, so there's just two more to go. We may be reaching an epidemic. The disease is spreading. Okay, so apparently the Setting disease is spread, is spread over here to the Deinonychus. So, got to get them fixed as well. Man, this is the mission that never stops. So if you haven't got avian pox yet, then you need to get it at the research center. It's relatively easy, but it'll take a couple of minutes to come through. Okay, so just got one avian pox to go. It's the Metriacanthosaurus. Come on, guys. Fix him up. Fix him up good style. Okay, there we go. Mission complete. Needs management. That was a lot of needs management, guys. Okay. As bad as it was there for a minute, it looks like the fire is out. The disease has been contained, and we have no signs of it in the park. Phew, the fire is out, says the woman holding the flamethrower. Exactly, Jeff. Exactly. They're all nuts. Uh, so there we go, guys. That's how to complete needs management. Hopefully it helps you out. And if it does, as ever, drop us a like below. You can also check out the rest of our walkthroughs for Jurassic World Evolution with the links on the right-hand side. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel with the links on the left-hand side. Don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications for all of our videos as they come out. Leave any comments below, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers, guys. Goodbye.